Um, it is tradition of this foundation to put forth a charge at the end of this year, at the end of this um, grant session. And so before we do that, I would like to invite up um, a member from the grantees to come forward and stand before us that we might give you the charge to move forward with this money you have received. So please come forward. And the charge is, let us meet it together. In the parable of the talents from Matthew 25, Jesus tells us of a master who entrusted three servants, each with a certain amount of treasure. Two invested their portions wisely and returned additional earnings, while the third buried his share in the ground, where it profited no one. Returning, the master rebuked the timid servant, but praised the others, saying to them, Well done, good and faithful servant. In the spirit of this parable, the Sisters of Charity Foundation of South Carolina has undertaken a long-term commitment to invest our portions of treasure wisely. Today, as we celebrate each other's hard work and accomplishments, we do so being ever mindful that poverty touches us all, and therefore, we must meet the challenge to address it together. This effort involves much more than making grants. Through collaborative efforts with you, our grantees, we seek to use our talents together and disseminate knowledge, mobilize resources of individuals and communities, and develop systemic approaches to addressing the root causes of all poverty. However, we realize that we cannot do it alone. No single individual or entity is truly self-sufficient or independent. None of us are able to achieve education, love, family, economic success, or any other goal without the help of others. Collectively, our talents can be used to build, promote, and support commitments to address the needs of the poor and the underserved in South Carolina. Therefore, we will demonstrate God's purposes and be ourselves good and faithful servants. On this day, June 13, 2011, we charge you, our grantees, we charge you to forgive, new, to forge ahead with new ideas and concepts in using your own strengths and resources. We charge you to mobilize the resources of others. We charge you to empower the poor and remove barriers that hinder economic success. We charge you to make deliberate efforts to build society and develop productive citizens. We charge you to confront the root causes of poverty, reducing its impact of the, on the state. And finally, we charge you to take with you the spirit of the good and faithful servant. Amen. We charge you to do this, and we do it with you. <laughs>